don't want to try to replicate uh, all the nice things that, uh, that Jackie said, so thank you so much, Jackie. I was thinking that you, know, you sort of have board members that kind of come, and you don't want to stereotype people, but they're sort of, um, think of Jackie, Tommy, and Susan as people who had tremendous healthcare backgrounds in terms of different things, in terms of what they've done, in terms of being on the boards, of course, Jackie developed her own uh, network health situation herself and and of course uh, Susan has been the maven of uh, health sciences and but they also have in addition to their healthcare backgrounds have had a tremendous understanding of the political world now I know it's hard to believe that healthcare and politics have anything to do with each other but uh, but they've been extraordinarily invaluable and and um, I don't want to say it's ironic but I think of these three people Become such good friends and such diverse friends and such unusual friends and how much we've enjoyed knowing them and, and uh, seeing Jim and Jackie in, in, in Florida and playing golf with Tommy and, and so many good things with, with Susan. And the thing that's been ironic to me is that they're all Democrats. <laughs> and, and my parents always told me to avoid Democrats. <laughs> But really, you've been great. <laughs> Could be they were wrong. I don't know. But uh, so, and then there's sort of three people that I've known in different ways uh, outside this health plan. Um, first off, uh, Peter Drach and, and Hinda. Uh, I started working at, at Price Waterhouse and Company, and, I, and as Hinda always says, not Price Waterhouse Coopers, Price Waterhouse and Company. <laughs> so, um, so I was there when uh, Peter was promoted to partners. Um, I think some people still regret that, Peter. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but Peter was, uh, yeah. in addition to knowing him then, he uh, was the audit partner on our account at Colonial and charged very reasonable fees <laughs> from time to time. And, uh, and uh, anyway, he was a great friend and a great counselor over these many, many years. Um, there's Jim McNulty, who I actually had the pleasure of working for uh, at, at Sun Life, and, and it really was a pleasure, Jim. You were uh, one of the best bosses I ever had. Yeah. Of course, you were benefited by the comparison of the guy who follows you, I admit, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you were uh, a, a great, great boss and uh, a pleasure to work for. I really enjoyed it, and um, it was one of the best things I had. So, uh, and then, of course, Bob Spellman, who um, I, I knew at Star Market, uh, Bob was uh, an extraordinary talent as a softball player. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were good, right? I mean, you know. And, um, but he was also a, uh, a, a, a wonderful uh, financial guy. In fact, I've been actually a little worried that um, when people talk about my financial and accounting skill, that both Peter Drach and Bob Spellman will have to come up here and do a rebuttal. But uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm just hoping good manners will overcome that. So, uh, um, so, but anyway, I thought, uh, you know, Bob actually succeeded me as CFO at Star Market, and he's succeeding me now. And I, he greatly outshone me at Star Market, and I'm sure he'll do an equally good job now. The one thing that worries me, Bob, I just want you to think about this, is having all the board dinners at Doyle's, <laughs> it's, it's not a bad idea. But, uh, I think you should. Think. So, uh, you know, one of the things that board chairs are, are most intimately associated with is, is working with the CEOs. And so, um, as board chair, I was uh, blessed to work with Harris and Nancy and Jim. And of course, I always think of Harris and Nancy as a team. And I think about, um, well, I can't do any better than what Nancy just uh, did her own talk, but I, I think it's so true, so let me just reaffirm it, that I think the two of them took Tough South Land from sort of a nice little place to a very sophisticated place with great structure, uh, great uh, marketing ideas, uh, the fitness uh, model and so on, just really, really special. So I think Harris and, and uh, Nancy Lee took us to a special place. And then, when things kind of dipped a little bit, uh, it's been my great honor to have worked with Jim Roosevelt over these past few years. Um, uh, his innovation, uh, his talent for working together, uh, and I don't th 
think it'd be fair to say that Jim is um, low in self-esteem. I don't think that would be true. <laughs> but I do think what he has is a great ability to listen well and to know what he doesn't know and to take advice well. And you've been a great team, and I just want to reaffirm what a great friendship it's been as well. And, uh, and uh, yourself and Ann will, will uh, hopefully we'll stay together. You know, in my final remarks, you know, um, Wart Madoff and uh, Jerry Grossman, when they put this plan together, were very much involved with responding to the competitive threats as they saw them at the time, which I'm sure David remembered as well, of what was going to come with these new HMOs. And they devised an organization that was innovative and creative responded to those threats. So, you know, as you think about that going forward, there'll be a challenge to go that way. I don't want to leave this thing with talking about the, the two people that have been most helpful to me as a board person. And I know they won't want the attention, but anyway. So, Cindy Torgerson has always had this great ability to give nuanced direction. So, Cindy will always say, well, I was just wondering <laughs> if you had thought maybe about this. <laughs> so, Bob, if I can give you any advice at all, when Cindy says that, you're wrong, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> the other person I want to especially honor is my friend Joyce, who is one of those people who is always upbeat, always organized, and she said to me, now don't say anything tonight that would draw attention to me. <laughs> so I didn't do that. <laughs> but if there's anything, any theme of my talk tonight, going back to Mort and Jerry and all these people here, is that I know I'm leaving this plan in very good hands. And it's been an incredibly wonderful journey for me. It's been the key of my professional life. I want to thank you so much for all being here, the people who made the effort to do so. And with that, I think Christine said I had four and a half minutes. I think I'm right at that point. I'm going to stop. Thank you. <laughs>